Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome to an unboxing video. You know, it's been a little bit since we last did a traditional FNAF merchandise unboxing video. You know, no specific Funko Wave that we're gonna be reviewing, no specific, like, FNAF AR, Cloak, Creator Inc. merchandise. Uh, nope, just a box full of a bunch of random FNAF merchandise I've been collecting over the last couple of days. However, since they are technically new FNAF merchandise, I didn't want to just not do a video on them, so I thought I'd just compile all of them into this one video. So without further ado, let's not waste any more time. Hit the like button, subscribe, let's hop into it. So the first product I have today, you might have seen me post about it on my Twitter, because I believe I was one of, if not the first person to find it. It is a physical release, in-store release, of the Creator Inc. FNAF light. So this light was in the previous FNAF X Creator Inc. merchandise wave, and for some reason, they just put it out in stores. And I mean, legit, here it is. <laughs> this is the light. I'm not sure how well you can see the detail, but as you can see, Chica, Bonnie, Freddy, and Foxy. You got five Knights at Freddy's at the top, and you got a whole bunch of other details, like some endo hands, a door, and light buttons at the bottom. The fan is right here. Oh yeah, look at that. I don't really have a good place to plug it in. This is the best view I can get for you guys. So yeah, it switches between a bunch of different colors. The whole thing lights up. It's pretty cool, pretty neat. And they actually are making a brand new light for Security Breach. In fact, I ordered a bunch of stuff, and as you can see... They're starting to come in. Subscribe so you don't miss that video. And now let's move on to some cords. Ah uh, yes, the uh, <laughs> the classic. Funko something wild trading card game. I have no clue what this is. Uh, but hey, they made it with FNAF, and I mean, it, it looks cool. Right, it comes with a little Rockstar Freddy figure and a whole bunch of cards that have the FNAF characters on it. So I don't know how to play, so I'm just gonna open it up and, well, show you guys the cards. So here's the little Rockstar Freddy figure. I have no clue what you're supposed to do with this, but... It's small, it looks cute. And I guess for a size comparison, I mean, <laughs> it's not even close. Comes with a manual, how to play the game. I don't really care of playing the game in this video, sorry. Yeah, and then, oh my god, just a whole bunch of cards, which I'm assuming just have a bunch of FNAF characters on them. Oh yeah, Rockstar Freddy, Springtrap, Bonnie, Golden Freddy. Is this gonna have all of them? Bonnie again, Ballora, oh, Foxy as well. Yeah, just a whole bunch of cards with all the FNAF characters on it. There you go. I mean, just, you see the puppet in there? A whole bunch of people. Yeah, I don't know how to play this game. I don't really care about knowing how to play the game, but if you want some FNAF cards and a little figure, I guess this game is for you. Next up, let's go over the Captain Foxy figure and plushie. Which, yep, there it is. I think it's been in the background of videos for quite a while, but I did want to wait on getting the figure before talking about it. I think it's nice. For some reason, my <laughs> guy's teeth stick up. Yeah, he's got a nice little hook. The, uh, it feels a bit weird on the legs. I know this looks weird. Uh, but yeah, like, this is all printed on, I think. I don't actually know. And then his hat is just, like, a singular piece of, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's not much. They kept his fur at the top, which is nice. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's pretty solid. I think it's accurate enough, which is honestly all I very much care about. And then for the figure, again, it's it's pretty spot on. Like I said, he's pretty spot on. For some reason, he uses the old Foxy mold. If you don't know what I mean, here is a new Foxy figure. This is the old Foxy figure base. Of course, this is Captain Foxy, but you can see he's more orange. So I'm not sure why they decided to use a more outdated Foxy base than the new one they made. But I mean, I honestly don't really have a problem with it. I don't care that much. In my opinion, if you can tell it's Foxy, if you can tell it's Captain Foxy, which you can, and it looks pretty spot on, I, I don't mind the figure. And our final piece of merchandise for the video is the Lefty plushie. Except it's not the Lefty plushie, you might have thought of. Daddy Lefty, Baby Lefty. This is the 16-inch Jumbo Lefty plushie, which is actually my first Jumbo FNAF plushie, and let me just say, Funko, why are you making these? These are freaking huge. They also released a Jumbo Vanny and Rockstar Freddy, which I did order, and they should be here hopefully soon. But I got this guy, and I thought, I might as well throw him in the video. This guy's freaking crazy. I mean, he's massive, but also, his details are 
kind of meh. Like his ears, as you can see, are very flat and they just kind of fall. Like it looks like they were last minute additions, which it's kind of sad. They don't feel all that soft either. Because I'm assuming this is probably printed on. This store is printed on. It's kind of sad that his eyes don't pop out. He also just looks sad. Like, what happened? And as you can see, these are going to be exclusive to GameStop and I believe EB Games. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's Jumbo Lefty Boy. That's also all the merchandise I have for this video. So a whole bunch of stuff happening in the FNAF merchandise department. I know we have a lot more stuff coming in the future. Like I said, I think up next, I'll probably do a review on the Creator Inc. security breach wave. I ordered a lot of that stuff, so expect a pretty big video when I get it all. But that's gonna do it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.